Now it's time to look at RCB, the big underachievers of the IPL. Can they find a little bit of success this year? Let's find out on Hogs Vlog. Well, RCB, they went to the auction. They would have been wanting to find an Indian frontline batsman to fill the void in the middle order, but they didn't. So what did they do? They spent a lot of money on the tour quick from New Zealand, Jamison, which I thought was over-exuberant, and then they spent a lot of money on Maxwell as well. Now, Maxwell, yes, he dominates in other areas of the game for Australia, big bash, but when it comes to the IPL, his stats don't stack up. But... They've gone after him to bat in the middle order and do some damage. Hopefully for RCB, he does find a purple patch this year. Also, they're going to rely heavily on AB De Villiers and Virat Kohli at the top of the order. But if they have an injury to one of their Indian quick bowlers, they don't have much depth there and they'll be found wanting. So let's have a look at the starting 11 for their first game this year as I'd see it. They'd have Patikal open the batting. I thought he did a fantastic job last year. Another Indian talent coming through. Can he uh, do what he did last year and put his name further up the pecking order in front of the Indian selector's eyes. Then opening the batting with him would be Virat Kohli. I just think that's his prime position. He's able to time the ball, play orthodox cricket, and pierce the gaps to find the boundary in the power play. And his role would be to bat through the whole innings and in the back end where he's most dominant uh, in that particular phase he can really take the game away. So you've got to make him bat as many overs as you possibly can. You've got A.B. De Villiers coming in at number three, and then you've got Glenn Maxwell to finish the innings off at number four. You'd expect them to prob- uh, probably bat the majority of the overs. I'd have Dan Christian coming in at five as well, another power hitter, and Mohamed Azarudin. I think that particular six is fairly dominant for this year's IPL because... You've got Virat Kohli and A.B. de Villiers who will bat the majority of the overs most games, set the game up, and then you've got those three big hitters coming in after that. I think this is a fiery top six that could do a lot of damage against opposition teams. Now we're coming to the bowlers and the all-rounders. We've got Washington Sundare at number seven, who also a big hitter and can do some damage there. We've got Siraj and Saini. Two frontline Indian bowlers who have got a bit of experience now being in the Indian uh, squads set up and travelling with them for the last three or four months. So that experience is a big gain and I'm expecting better results from those two bowlers this year. You've also got Kane uh, Richardson for me coming in at number 10 and Chahal the leg spinner. That's how I'd see their lineup uh, stacking up. On the bench, they got Daniel Sams. I'm very impressed with him. Uh, that was a good pickup uh, in the trade period. I think he offers good all-round ability and plus that left arm option as well. Uh, they've got Harsha Patel, the Indian bowler there, but I don't think he's quite as good as those other two bowlers. And if he has to come in and play, it might leave a little bit of a hole there. And um, Sachin Beatty comes back in. But other than that, their bench strength isn't as uh, solid as the other top teams in the IPL. So they'll be relying heavily on their first 11. And uh, I, I've also got Adam Zampa in there as well, but I don't see Adam Zampa playing too many games because of the balance with overseas players. So for me, RCB, I think, will finish in the final four this year and they'll have a chance of taking out the title with that 11 that I've just put forward this year because good bowlers, good top order and a powerful middle order to uh, finish that innings off. Let's see how they go. And what do you think about RCB? Do you agree with me or not? Get your comments downstairs. I'll see you soon. Tune in to Hogs Vlog. Let's have plenty of fun during this year's IPL.